Hi everyone, this is Ollie Hilly on the 23rd of July 2013 with a gold chart in front of me. Just going to do a short video um, and the reason I'm doing this video is that I'm looking at a trade which is very unusual for me, which is not a trend trade as such. Well it is in a general sense but it's um, trying to pick a retracement level. So here we are, gold chart daily chart and the first thing I want to show you is this Fibonacci that I've drawn in from a recent high down to the low <clears throat> and you'll see that price has come into this 50% level at 133.463 Actually, sorry, the 50% the retracement level is in fact 133.96, so it's just slightly above that level at the moment. So if we zoom out a bit on this chart, well the first, well, first thing is we've got uh, support and resistance here at this level, we've got support and resistance here at this level, and if we come right back to 2010, it's not perfect here, but it's clearly it's had a go and rejected that level and gone above. It's absolutely on the button there, support resistance. And again, it's um, once it's broken up, it's come back down roughly to this level and gone away. So this is a long-term level of support and resistance. The other thing is that we are in a downtrend, certainly from here. We've got lower highs and lower lows. High low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. This could be a lower high. Of course price could smash through this and go up above there. It would have to go up above there though to be a um, higher low, in which case the trend would change. But my expectation is that there will be significant resistance around this level for the reasons I've just mentioned. It is long-term support and resistance and it's a 50% Fibonacci level which I expect it to turn around at. Now one way you can use Fibonacci's is to sell between the sweet spot if you like, that's one term for it, or the sell zone, and the sell zone on a Fibonacci is between the 50 and the 61.8 level, so it's anywhere in this level here with a stop above the um, 61.8 level. So my view is that the downtrend is going to continue, this big downtrend. There has been some news about US banks and their ability to hold precious metals which is, is part of the reason, part of the catalyst for this jumping up in the last couple of days. It'll be interesting to see if price does um, stall here and then the downtrend resume. That's what I'm expecting but I'm certainly watching this and looking to see what happens. So uh, follow with me and see if this level of support resistance in this Fibonacci level holds and if it does then there's a possibility we can come down uh, in the next few weeks and make a new high without it breaking above this uh, this level here which is what 14 probably 14, 16, 14, 17. Okay, thought I'd show you that because it's an unusual um, unusual opportunity that I don't usually look for. I'm usually looking for absolute downtrends and joining the trend. I suppose you could say in a macro level, um, in a big picture level, I am looking to do that because this is a major downtrend. Um, I will be very, very interested if we can have another day here where there's a small candle and then there's a breakdown below that candle that will be a very good signal to go short, so uh, I certainly will be watching for that. Happy trading, talk soon.